business, shall we ignore it? Or shall we pay attention to it? What do you think? أنا كشركة مثلا أنا سيئ وفي شركة هل المفروض إنه أنا أهتم شو العالم تحكي عني في الفيسبوك ولا تويتر ولا ما إلي علاقة فيهم؟ لأن if it's positive we should look at ways to leverage and capitalize on that and expand it. If it's negative we need to find be able to respond to it on time ونقدر نتعامل معها بالطريقة الصحيحة لأنه في الآخر it is affecting our business. فا with mobility الموبايل، السوشيال، الكلاود. Today your customers أو اليوزر سبعون قاعدين في نص البزنس. They drive the changes. هو اللي بيقول لك أنا شو بدي. أنا كيوزر عندي والله بدي أفتح حساب جديد في بنك for example عندي بنك X و بنك Y. ماشي بنك X بيعطيني كل إشي وأنا قاعد في الدار على الموبايل تبعي ولا على التابلت ولا على ماي لابتوب. I can do online transfers. I can check. I can apply for certain letters. البنك الثاني بيقول لك لا انا لوك داون بدك اي شيء بدك تيجي توقع على هالورقه وتوريني الهويه تبعتك وبتسحب من البنك. اليوزرز او خلينا نحكي الكاستمر ويتش ويتش واي وود يو بريفير بيرسونالي؟ انا اي وود بيرسونالي بريفير اللي بيعطيني ايز اوف اكسس. البنك الثاني ويل فيس تشالنجز اوف سستينينج ذير كاستمرز. فاليوم الكاستمرز او الاند يوزر تبعونا في اورجنايزيشن او ان بابليك Whatever our business says, they're sitting in the middle of your organization. They are the deciding factor. So you cannot lock down your infrastructure and say, "Ana ma bdi aati access to hada." And most likely, you will be out of business in a few years. The five fundamentals we recommend. Akhirin nhti the five security principles. This is IBM approach of how to be at or, or how do we. Address or we recommend businesses to look at the entire security strategy. You might have the presentation about it. I'm going to talk about the details about it. First and foremost, number one, increase the security IQ. Build a cultural security or cyber security or risk aware culture within your organization. I'm not going to do it once. This process does not happen once. You need to train. You need to test regularly, regularly, and also verify and try to track. و look at شو اللي بيصير عندك و شو كانت the statistics و benchmark that knowledge and move forward and keep on enhancing it's a reiterative process prepare to respond faster incidents will happen المشاكل راح تصير are we prepared to respond on the right time do we have the right processes do we need to know do we know who we need to talk to do we have the right skills Safeguard, you bring your own device. Kalamna mm -hmm. al mobility, a lot of organizations are moving to it. Hellal, you bring your own device. Ana bidi astakhlam al mobile tabi, bidi ajib al laptop tabi, wa akdar adkhar al information aw ala al email tabi aw ala al online services. Aw ka admin fi shabke, I manage multiple regional branches. Mush raha roh ala kull makan to plug it into the network cable ala every branch and be able to access. I need to access from anywhere. This is all nice, but what are we trying to implement? كل الأمور هاي كلها مشان نحمي شو. Identifying your crown jewels, your critical information. Some information might be very critical to your business. ماشي where you need to pay extra attention or use different methodologies to protect it. And so basically, defining these crown jewels, protecting them, and monitoring them ongoing. Leverage security intelligence. Today, with the Internet of Things, with all these the 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 new technologies, mobility, with cloud, the amount of events or or security details. If you have a security operations center and you monitor logs, you probably receive few millions every day. By no way, big that you put or you put a thousand monitors, you can't do any analysis or that. You need to apply certain level of automation or intelligence. To be able to filter out. Security essentials, the ten IBM security essentials, basically to reach the ultimate goal, which is intelligent cyber threat protection and risk management. So, we talked about in the first slide. It's all about risk management. It's not about securing your infrastructure or your business 100%. It's helping you identify your risk or put the right. People, processes, and technologies to be able to able to address those. راح أركز بس على two اللي هم number one and two priorities. أول واحد اللي ما حكينا 
زي ما حكينا build a risk aware culture and management system this is very important the second one establish intelligent security operations to be able to use the effective tools that serve your business targets to be able to train your people in the most efficient manner and the rest is leave it for reference this is the last slide just uh, a quick overview of IBM security in numbers the way we operate in IBM when it comes to security is we have globally 12 connected security operation center they work 24 by 7 they're backed up layer security intelligence research and development centers around the world they monitor the dark web in numbers we monitor 133 countries and over 3,000 uh, security experts in these centers that they manage 270 over 270 million endpoint devices on behalf of our customers well, this gives us access to uh, monitoring or analyzing around 15 billion from slash million security event generated every 24 hours within our operations center this is all for me thank you and i'll be more than happy to address any questions thank you شكرا جدا لوجودكم معنا اليوم بداية نحب أعرفكم على نفسي اسمي خالد فطر I'm regional consultant to Hyper Network uh, covering Middle East and North Africa so إن شاء الله اليوم في البرزنتيشن سأحكي عن Hyper مين هم Hyper exactly what we do سأحكي عن السولوشن طبعا we will focus على DDoS as an attack what is the DDoS we need to understand what is the DDoS how the DDoS attack works exactly, uh, and what kind of solutions that we need to protect ourselves from the DDoS. Uh, 
it's a workshop. So if you have any question, if you have any query, if you need to discuss anything, please feel free. So بداية مين هم أربر؟ أربر هي شركة established في the US في سنة 2000 في مدينة اسمها أن أربر. وأربر كانت بداية كان عبارة عن research في جامعة ميشيغان. كان في دكتور طالب عم يعمل دكتورات عم يعمل project. كان البروجكت هو هاو تو كوليكت ذا نت لود من الراوترز مشان نعمل اناليسز لهذا الترافيك مشان نشوف الايرث اللي على النتورك على الانفراستراكشر وهذا البروجكت كونفرتد انتو ا كومباني اللي هي اربع نتورك سو سينس 2000 لحد الان وي ار سبيشاليزد ان ذا نيد اوف اليوم الماركت شير اوف اربر عم نحكي عن 90% كفرج وورد وايد ذا سيرفيس بروفايدرز على تير 1 إذا بنطلع على الريجن اللي هون ميدل ايست نورث افريكا اي كان سي انه اور كفرج از 98% سو موست اوف ذا سيرفيس بروفايدرز ان ذس ريجن ذي هاف ا سوليوشن ذا دي دوس من اربر سو اذا بنروح مثلا على السعوديه ثري ميجر اوبريتورز ذي هاف دي دوس اس تي سي موبايل اي ثينك اذا بنروح على ليتس سي الكويت ذا سيم ثينج عمان سيم ثينج الاردن ذا ثري بروفايدرز ذي هاف دي دوس خلصون ذي هاف مصر ذي هاف So 98% coverage in our region. طبعا بالنسبة للانتربرايز احنا we extended our product we started with a service provider there is a reason for that هنحكي فيها بـ coming slides we started with enterprise market so we built solutions to address the enterprise like البنوك والgovernment small companies so our market share as well in the enterprise is 61% we are the leader as well Number one, we have something unique. ما حدا عنده يا اليوم يعنى شيء اسمه أطلس. ما بعرف إذا سمعت في أطلس أو لا. أطلس هي عبارة عن داتابيس. إحنا we collect traffic من tier one providers. We're saying okay, بما إنه عندنا visibility على traffic, we have ninety percent market share, so we need to get a copy من the traffic worldwide, okay, to analyze the traffic, to study what is happening في موضوع في DDoS. So اليوم we are monitoring around one hundred forty terabit per second. 140 terabits per second. In that total traffic, we analyze this traffic to come up with the latest details. And I'll see you inshallah in the coming slides. Keep me sure at last what kind of benefits that we can get from it. In this regard, references we have a lot of references. As you can see, we have global references like BT, British Telecom, Telstra, Telus, China Telecom. In the enterprise, we have Bank Dubai as an example. Well, of course, one here, here. You can see as well Tata Communications, Prolexic, some providers, they provide the DDoS as a service. They are customers to me as well. Wait, talking about the attacks, we have wide range of attacks, a lot of type of attacks. <coughs> Omar talked a lot about the type of attacks. We've seen a lot of attacks. Lacking, we can categorize an attack, you know, he has loud attacks, noisy <coughs> attacks like the DDoS, so you can feel that the resource is under attack, it's not available, it is exhausted. So we call them loud attack or noisy attack. You can feel them. And we have attack, we can call them quiet attack. Somebody managed to get through into your network, sitting inside your network for a long time of period, trying to access or to do a lot of things. This type of attacks we call them quiet, like the APT, as an example. In Arbor, we do have solutions, the DDoS, and for other types of attacks. Lacking like our focus is on the DDoS solution. In this session, I'm going to talk about the DDoS solutions. If you need to, more, to know more about the other solutions, we can discuss it inside the shop. So, because we have this wide range of attacks, we believe in having a solution on a multi layer. Today you cannot just only use a single solution in your network to protect yourself from all type of attack. And part of the solution is the service provider as well. So the provider of the internet is a very important part here. So if we talk about the multi-layer solution uh, from Arbor, we start from the internet, from the cloud. So what we did as an Arbor, we built something called Arbor Cloud. Arbor Cloud, uh, it is sitting on the internet, actually. We have four shopping centers, one in the US, one in Europe, one in Asia. And we say, if you need to subscribe to the DDoS as a service, we can provide it to you. 
We call this one global urban cloud. Now, we came into each country and we said, okay, we have providers, Mulhudin, Bikul Kanti, like Omnia, and we said we need to build a local cloud, DDoS cloud. Leish, now we have some customers already connected to Omnia, and the traffic is passing through Omnia network, right? So what we said, okay, fine, uh, we're gonna build this local cloud inside Omnia, so any traffic I need to through Omnia network or through the local providers going to one of the customer is gonna be inspected and detected, plus you know, we can do mitigation on it. So this is the second day. Then we go into your network, to the perimeter. Today we have DDoS attacks, we call them slow and low attacks. Yani attack, maybe you just only volumetric, you're not playing it down, no. It's slow and low attack, yani DDoS attack coming to certain resource inside your network, then like an application level. For example, HTTP, HTTPS, DNS server, uh, you can attack targeting firewalls, IPSs. So the slow and low attack, you need something on your perimeter in, in order to detect that attack, you need to see every single packet. You cannot rely just only on the cloud. So we have a solution, we call the solution Enterprise Solution. So we put the solution on the perimeter so every single packet that will pass through your network so we can see it. So we can detect you know, if there is any attack or not. Now going inside your network, uh, this is not related to the DDoS, this is related for everything here, all type of attack. We have something called security analytics. This is not our focus here, but I think it's good to know what we have in terms of portfolio. So we have security analytics and, and, and NFI. Both products, uh, we see the internal traffic. It is not just inline device. We capture traffic from, from multi-point in the network, and we do analysis for that. So it is for internal visibility, and we use our atlas for fingerprints and signatures to say, okay, this guy is participated in a botnet, this guy is doing something abnormal, this guy is infected with malware, is infected with an attack. So it is mainly for internal analysis. Okay, so if you look at the portfolio, so you will see that we start from the internet until we go inside your enterprise or inside your network. And all of these products are powered by Atlas. So what is Atlas exactly? So today, Atlas is about database. When we decided to build this database, we had tier one providers, and we said, okay guys, so we're gonna implement some kind of flow sensors. So any anonymous malicious traffic that you have, please send me a copy, Leish, because I need to do analysis for that one. So today, we are collecting 140 terabit per second. Men have tier one providers. We have an agreement for more than 300 uh, tier one providers. They're sending me a traffic. And then I have a team on, second gear, it's my ARB, uh, it's my asset team, ARB, security engineers and response team. That a team will be just only to get this traffic, we have an analysis. Why? To come up with the latest DDoS trends. We discover the new botnet, the new malware. So we take that information, and we have a sheet of fingerprint. Fingerprint is like a signature, like we have more information, more focused mainly on the DDoS. So actually this is what we get on Atlas. Very complicated. Yani, you need maybe years to understand what it is. So we convert this into this. So one of the examples, this one, we have a tool here, Simha, Loic. Loic is one of the tools that you can use to generate DDoS attacks. So in the LOIC, you will see a fingerprint on our system saying, if we have a traffic matching the pattern of that LOIC tool, that means you know, it is a DDoS attack. So we convert all the details that we have into something called fingerprints, and we call them AIF, Atlas Intelligence Feed. When we create this fingerprint, we update all the appliances in the world. If you have a box with the Arbor and the network, you will get updates from Atlas. So we'll be up to date with everything happening in the world. One of the applications, just I need to show you how the Atlas is really powerful here. One of the applications, we have a site that's called Digital Attack Map. I don't know if there's a website that's website. Digital Attack Map. Do you know what Digital Attack Map is a website developed by Google or Ahmed. Google said, okay, recently, Muslim attackers, they're trying to do a DDoS attack. So we need to study this. 
So we need to have something to make, I would say, like an awareness that Colin Nance, you know, what is the deal, what's what happening? But they came to us and they said, okay, guys, you have Atlas, and Atlas, you have that visibility. So we need to build a website together. So in this website, you will see the attacks happening currently, and you can go back by time. So I would like to show it to you live. Maybe it's going to be better. What do you see? Probably. I'm assuming that that's <coughs> firewalls. <laughs> firewalls. It looks like firewalls. Okay, I'm assuming that attacks happening at the moment. Is that how you collect the German way? German Atlas. This website is free. You can go to Google, you can search digital attack map, and you can open this website. No, I think it's the real time. It's yeah. real time, yes. So, if you can go here, for example, on this attack, you will see, you know, I have an attack between two countries, between the US and New Zealand. I have a size of the attack around the state scale. I have a classification of the attack. It's a fragmentation, IP fragment attack. Is there a matter I can see there's an attack on the Saudi home? Hello? Okay. But then, of course, you can select large attack if you would like to see the largest attacks here. So we have currently on the Saudi attack where it's an engage. It's a volumetric attack using the UDP machine. So using this website, you can get some information. The nice thing is that we can go back a little bit. ممكن نقول اعطينا هيستوري مثلا اي نيد تو سي ذا اتاكس مثلا صارت في ديسمبر سو عم نشوف كثير اتاكس عم تيجي على الكونتري اي جس انه هو اتس بيرو اوكي اتس ذا فوليوم اتاك طبعا لما يجي الاتاك بالطريقه هذه هتلاقي انه السورس ذس وان ان نون ذا سورس از ان نون Yeah, and the source unknown means you know, the attacker is trying to spoof IP addresses. We cannot attack when when it is that. Okay. So maximum uh, or the size of the attack, I'm talking 100 gig attack. Very accurate. Volumetric again, it's a UDP misuse attack. So using this website, you can see a lot of things. Of course, you statistics. you can go to the gallery as an example. Uh, you will see some information. But all these information we take from the hotels. Okay, so it seems that it's very simple. Just switch back on the presentation. So, just a photo, photo on the website. So, I'll just give you some. Please. If it was the attack coming from the proxy, you can do it. Click the real IP, or I'll give you the proxy IP. Well, in this website, if we're talking about digital attack map, we don't show IPs. Yes, we yes, show just only source. But in reality, okay, we know and we try to search. You know, who has source IP? If you have a proxy, of course, I'm going to see the proxy IP address. I will not see the internal IP. Okay. But more information, if you need to know about the attacks, trend of the attacks, you can go on arbornetworks.com. There is an Atlas portal. You can register on Atlas portal. You will see details more than this. Good. So, خلينا نحكي شوي عن the DDoS trend. كيف التطور تبع the DDoS trend؟ على يعني most of the attackers they're trying to do DDoS. ليش؟ لأنه it's really easy to be generated. لكن بالمقابل هو كتير complicated. So, just only an example على one of the tools. في عنا tool اسمها Loic. Loic tool. يعني هذا tool just only an example. يعني بالسنة واحدة تنزلت أكثر من مليون مرة. يعني الناس they they see you know it's really easy to generate DDoS attacks. I'm not going to use this. هلا because of this ease of generation of DDoS attacks, the power of DDoS attacks are just very clear. So I would like to show you a video. هذا الفيديو بيحكي عن تطور DDoS attack في عشر سنين من 2002 ل 2012. بعدين we will continue إن شاء الله.
tax targeted a lot of organizations, government, financial sector. But the power attack can be transferred. يعني إحنا بال 2002 ما قبل 2002 كان the size of the attack هو less than one gig. لكن شوفنا إنه بال 2000 لكن شوفنا إنه بال 2010 we've seen 100 gig attack. طيب what happened بال 2013 2014؟ so you can see that okay بال 2010 we've seen this 100 gig attack. In 2013, the largest attack was 300 gig, almost 300 gig. In 2014, last year, the largest one reported 400 gig attack. So the evolution of the DDoS is very fast. We started from 1 gig, and we're talking about 400 gig attack. The problem with DDoS attack is not just only flooding attack. We have other type of DDoS attacks. So today, in 2005, معظم الاتاكس كان لارجس اتاك كان 8 جيج لكن يعني 90% اوف ذا اتاكس كان عباره عن فلودنج اتاكس فوليومتريك اتاكس تارجتنج يور اب لينك لكن ثينجز تشينج صار عندي بال 2014 65% اوف ذا اتاكس هم جاست اون فوليومتريك ذا ريست اوف ذا اتاكس تارجتنج اذر ريسورسز انسايد يور نتورك سو اف وي لوك ات ذا ريسورسز يو ويل سي ذات اوكي 65% فوليومتريك لكن في عندي 20% Data exhaustion, which is attack targeting security layer that you have, firewalls, IP access, laptop, browser, etc. And 17% from the application layer, attack targeting your application. So we're going to talk about the DDoS attacks, how we can cover the number of the DDoS attacks. If we look at the application layer attacks, you will see that the most targeted application is HTTP, followed by the DNS, then the HTTP. في عنا يعني very famous attack في شيء اسمه amplification reflection attack ما بعرف إذا تعرفوا what is the amplification reflection attack في حد عنده فكرة طيب اليوم عم نحكي عن this is just only one type of attacks using this technique اللي اسمه amplification reflection attack this attack we call MTP reflection attack so